Hello guys, this video will show how to create really super easy uh, synthetic muscles in plasticity. And this is of course used for all sorts of cool sci-fi tubes and wires and just uh, all sorts of nice details. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description. It's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix. It's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Shift A. And I'm gonna go ahead and create, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the attachment point of the of the synthetic muscle. So I'm gonna go ahead and create something uh, like that. All right. So instead of creating the full shape, let's just go ahead and start with this because I like to get into solids as quickly as possible. All right now, I'll select this Alt X X to get that. Alt X Y, Shift Y to get the other side. And I'll select this and I'll press. Uh, uh, actually, before that, let me go ahead and do some. Uh, so you can either do the fillets now or wait till later. Um, so it's smarter usually to wait till later, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. All right now, I'll select this Alt X uh, Shift Y, Q Q, and let's do a little bit of fillet right there. All right, now select that Alt X X and then the QQ. All right, so this is going to be our uh, attachment points, and you, know, you can further model what uh, different things happening here. Um, we can model, for example, uh, I can press O for offset, and uh, you know E D B new object. It's something like this, uh, and then model something like. Uh, Maybe something like that. And then, you know, this, this is going to be our attachment point and you can model some sort of a cylindrical shape on here. All right, now select this, uh, get this. And all, all that I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just modeling some extra detail just because I want a little bit something more than just the bare details. All right, so this is going to be where it's going to be attached. And then uh, Alt X, Shift Y. So let me do it one at a time here. All right, and uh, same for this. All right, this will be our attachment point that can be attached to other objects. And uh, so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select this and I'll go ahead and press uh, Shift D and I'll just go ahead and press GG for screen space moving. And, you know, here we can really go ahead and rotate. And so what's cool about uh, plasticity is that really can like, we can put the two attachment points where they need to be. So, you know, whether you're attaching the neck or the biceps or anything else, you kind of put the two points with them to be. All right, so now here's here's all you need to do, guys. You need to select this surface and this surface and just press L. And then you got your different little continuities. So right away, it's that easy. But let's say you also want to have uh, maybe like maybe thicker in the center. So I'll go ahead and press Shift D and I'll go ahead and create this clone right here. All right, so for that, all I'll do is select the surface and I'll press Shift D. And then, you know, once again, I will I'll rotate it. I'll do a little bit of uh, SS for screen space scaling and uh, I'll go ahead and find some uh, intermediate point right there all right so now what I would do is I'll go ahead and select this surface then hold shift and select that one then hold shift and click on that one and just press L and there, there you go guys really fun really cool really easy I'm going to go ahead and hide this and delete this one or H to bring that back and you know then I can go ahead and give this the appropriate colors maybe red or whatever color you're going for and maybe give some colors to these as well All right. And just like that, guys, you have a really cool method for synthetic muscles in plasticity and just all kinds of cool sci-fi and, and real life details as well. So thank you for watching and take care.